Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy, episode number six, maybe. Uh, this is the continuation of our last episode, which uh, the continuity is going to be completely broken up for me, the Admiral, which is kind of a strange thing to have an Admiral go, you know, <laughs> missing in action for five days in the middle of a one-day fight. But that's kind of how it happened, right? Uh, so I've been gone for a while, and I'm coming back for part two. Let's try to evaluate what even happened on this uh, first part of the battle. We sank some destroyers, it looks like. Three, it looks like. And we're chasing down... I remember this. This was the armored cruiser that's really just a light cruiser in the skies. So that one is all but sinking. Um, and then I decided to make the command decision to pursue the French fleet. Now, we don't have a log, so I have no, and I don't, I just have absolutely no memory of what ships of the French, if any, have been, have received any kind of damage. I also don't know the status of my own ships, and I could sit here and, grades foul, that's good to know, I could sit here and look through the log of every individual ship, but I'm not going to do that. We're just gonna play it by ear and use the damage, or the combat functionality bar, uh, take that, at its word. Um, yeah, I, I don't, there's nothing else to say. Let's actually just jump right back into this. And I see that immediately I have everyone on AI control, or not on AI control. So let's uh, do a little maneuvering. Let's see if we can, if it's possible, isolate the Colbert class, which has kind of stuck its head out here. If we can, that would be great. And I see that, ooh, good, that's good. So this Colbert is already a goner for sure, but it's nice to see that we're going to finish the job. Uh, it's not going to get away. Um, it, it was it certainly would have been possible for it to get away. And now I'm wondering if we should instead pursue to port. Because this Colbert has made its turn. Should we try to wrangle it north? Is this like their key to that they're just going to decide not to pursue in the end? It's kind of a strange thing for them to gesture north and then retreat back south. Okay, and there's the Cote Lagon. No surprise. It is a flash fire which sinks it in the end, but it was already a goner, so we really don't pay much mind to that. Let's see, that, however, how our ships do against the Colbert. And that was the turn, which probably means we can get between her and the port, and hopefully the other defenses. So I think I slowed everyone down to 16, which is probably why the Ships are right on top of each other here. Let's get the Africanus to just get a little spacing. The Aqua Nera and whatever is the accompanying ship in her. It looks like the Marchius Agrippa. That is the correct name, by the way. Um, thank you to... Uh, oh, gosh, I'm forgetting the name. Her captain... Uh, da, 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 Frosty. Frosty Thunder or something for correcting me. Marchius Agrippa was an actual person. It's not Marcus... Apparently, I looked it up to try to figure it out for myself, and Marcus Agrippa, or Marcius, or whatever, Agrippa is a very, very common <laughs> surname, or whatever name, I don't know what role the second name functioned in uh, in Roman society, or ancient Roman society. So, alright, so the land class has been hit, that's, well, I don't even know why we're aiming for that one, and it was the Africanus to do the damage. Africanus, your goal is to rope the Colbert to keep her hemmed into the west, while the other two battle divisions will try to stave off the um, the rest of the fleet. Our light cruiser is just supposed to get out of the way, basically. She's not doing a fantastic job of that, but yeah, this is where it's gonna. The, we got to put our money where the, our mouth is and actually try to cut off her turn back south. And I see that we are targeting the Colbert. Target was straddled, but I'm guessing zero hits because it didn't report any hits. That is correct. I guess we could leave this open enough so we can see that little uh, column. This is still more uh, wide than it is tall, so we'll sacrifice a little bit of that. And we're definitely going to be able to close, at least on the Lalonde class, which is another of those fake armored cruisers. I'd be very happy, you can see with only 2 inch turrets, they're only using gun mounts, shielded mounts, not full turrets. Um, I think, I'm not even sure how it works for armored cruisers, maybe they're forced to use full turrets at 2 inches. 
but this is a cheap trick AI I won't fall for it <laughs> using I basically just uh, exactly the kind of thing I do when I make my strategic battleships they've made essentially strategic armored cruisers here but I think we're going to be able to get between her the Col I mean the Colbert and the rest of the fleet in order to facilitate that we will go to full speed ahead and the only thing which happened is the Quercia Reale is the one who's taking some fire. Yeah, and I this is the the downside, of course, is that oh, we have this Colbert turning back to the north, this Freeland turn. So what is the situation here? This is actually kind of scary. I'm not sure how to deal with this. They are responding in an intelligent manner, which I'm definitely not used to. Yeah, their ships are about to converge. I don't know how we're going to want to split for this. What? Okay, let's zoom in here. There's a lot of smoke crowding. I mean, it's actually <laughs> making it difficult for me to see even while paused, but we have the advantage of being paused. Let's take a look at what we're facing here. I've already forgotten which class looks like what, so I actually have to refresh myself after the amount of time we spent. So this is a good ship. Very low deck armor. Not, it just means it's going to take splinter damage. Low enough turret armor that we should be able to penetrate that, or the conning tower. Conning tower hits are usually pretty devastating. And the Freeland is actually the same thing. So we're dealing with the Freeland and the Colbert, which are identical. And they're both 13,000 ton ships. So that is a huge disadvantage to our ships, which are about 20% heavier and definitely much better armored, especially when it comes to things outside the belt. But I think even our belt is 11. Yeah, 11 and a half. Goodness. Speed limited to 22 knots. Not going to be something we can achieve. Not even our armored cruisers can surpass that. So we'll see what happens here. You're not on fire. Did you take a hit? No. Okay. Yeah, so now it looks like we might have to call, uh, to carve out the Friedland class. The goal is still to stay on target and see who we can cut off. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to push south, I see, in an, in an aggressive manner to see who just happens to fall prey to our guns first. And now it looks like the destroyers are headed north, the Freeland's headed south. The Colbert has been rescued in a way. So we want all our ships to stay together though. So we're going to do this battlefield turn. We're going to pursue them south because this is going to take us away from the destroyers. And that's what I want, is not to be near the destroyers. Okay, you guys are going to be needed soon. We are starting to hit their destroyers. This is fine. I'm, I'm okay to t start taking out their plentiful number of destroyers. I think that, what, was it like 22 total or something? We don't really want to pen them against the side here because that's going to make it a lot easier for them to fire torpedoes. But we'll just see what we have to work with after things have unfold a little bit longer here. And I think we're going to be at an advantage just fighting them at range. Even though this is, I mean, to be honest, this early in the game, it's uh, it's difficult to fire this from this distance. And look at our belt extended even. Um, I don't remember what it was. One sec, I have to sneeze. Ah, excuse me. Um, even our belt extended blocking the blow. I think, oh, why is our crew quality negative one? That's not good. Belt extended I thought was three or three and a half inches. But anyways, it was sufficient to block a blow, which is nice to see. And now we have our Quercio Reale close enough to start opening up on the destroyers herself. Same way our armored cruisers, and we have blocked them off from the port. So the battle is now in our hands. How do we want to deal with it? Still unknown. I like these destroyers getting caught up north of the tip, and they're, I mean, this is just chaos. We're gonna do a full battlefield swing. Do I want to just reverse direction, or do I want to loop? Does everyone just make an immediate bout, about face or reverses the order, the battlefield order? That actually makes sense considering we have destroyers up here, at least for the light cruiser, so that she can stay in front where all the destroyers are. She's likely as not to receive or to get hit by a torpedo, but if it caught, if the light cruiser loss comes at the cost of sinking another armored cruiser or a couple more destroyers, um, well, destroyers it would not be worth it, but for the armored cruiser it definitely would. Let's continue down the coast. We can still push them out. If they go over to Bizerte, then yeah, okay. They can still snuggle into that port and abandon the fight. So you know what? Okay, where, which direction? This is headed south. The Friedland's headed south, the Lana's headed south, Colbert's headed north. This Colbert's also heading north. It might be the time to push in on two of them. So we're gonna go ahead and make our turn. 
It's going to close the range. I'm not a big fan of that because torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. But we're going to do it anyway. Just to see what we're, what, how they're going to react. That's always what I'm just trying to gauge is how are they reacting to this. It looks like they're going to pull away. So let's form up a line again. Looks like that's pretty good ordering. Surprisingly good for a, a full battlefield turn. And we're close enough, we should be landing hits. Far enough away, the torpedoes are not a problem yet, which is good. And luckily, we're also going to get our armored cruisers involved here, which I'm only going to be using as destroyer defense. Looks like the Colbert has taken a little bit of damage. I thought that was a fire, but it's just the coal, um, sorry, the coal burning off. The smoke trail is definitely going to be affecting their accuracy, though. It's just perfectly in the way. So the wind is, should be helping us out a fair bit, especially with the strong breeze. We can see that really obstructing their line of fire. Technically, I would... Oh, wow. Okay, that was it. I was going to say technically I would think that this this would also in, uh, infringe upon our ability to target those ships. But as far as I know, the game abstracts it as a much more difficult... I mean, you can imagine being in a cloud of, sh of smoke and trying to shoot. At least we can shoot at a cloud of smoke. We know the ship is there, but they may no longer have eyes on us at all. Now, this was a really good turn, even though our regulars took a few hits. Doesn't look like either of them penetrated. A whole hit? I don't know what that means. I suppose it means a part that's not even covered by the belt extended? And probably counts as a hit? Let's just try to figure it out. I mean, it says whole hit without penetration. There's no star, so I guess it does not... It doesn't count. Crew quality on this one is one. That's much better than the negative one I saw previously. Let's just go to the north north. And then the good news comes. Oh, uh, this is only a six inch hit. This is a six inch hit. Yeah, just three six inch hits, but two of them on the Friedland. So we could try to focus down the Friedland. Let's see what happens. Okay, these guys are coming in, but I want them to come in a little bit late. They're gonna be acting, as I said, kind of as a... Well, this Colbert is isolated. We could just go after him completely. And I think we will. So that is what we'll do. Just try to take one more down. Uh, the lawn taking a few hits is always nice, especially if they're 12-inch hits. They are, because that is not a true armored cruiser. Need I remind everyone yet again. Okay, the Friedland here taking a few hits, which is great to see. Two 12-inch hits. The Defensori Italiano doing very well for herself in that volley. Yeah, and this Colbert has just completely caught herself. So now the best thing for us to do is to isolate and destroy. I think we're going to have... This is going to be nuts, but I'm going to have these guys hold fire for a little bit. We don't, we're going to have them as kind of cleanup crew. I don't think them firing at a ship is going to help as much as it's going to hinder for the moment. Having more ships firing different caliber shells just reduces your accuracy. And really what we want to do is isolate this Colbert so we can turn in like this. Uh, the Quartier Reality is actually going to turn in to deal with this potential threat of a torpedo barrage by the destroyers. They're still far enough away. We're doing good though. Really good. I, I mean, I'm very happy with this setup. This catapult class must go though. Must go if we're going to move in. We'll have the armored cruisers also pull back to help defend against destroyers. Okay, so now where do we wedge off? I think we wedge off. No, let's wedge off with the Defensori and the Regulus because the Aquia and the Marchius Grippa, they're a little bit behind, so we'll have them. If you're wondering what I mean by wedge off, I mean who's going to take the southernmost route away from the Colbert? She's probably going to do a U turn. Yeah, and I'd rather it be the middle group so that these guys can keep. Uh, a little bit more distance. Another hit on the Lalan. Those hopefully adding up light damage doesn't look like it. Getting a few of those nice windows beeps. <laughs> Not sure why, to be honest. Uh, Aquianera high speed reduces, I mean, increases flooding. I had no idea you were even flooding. How? Uh, let's see. I guess it was this belt extended 12 inch hit. Yep, probably. We'll slow you right down then right down and you're by yourself after that hit so it's nice i can actually choose the marcher group i'm going to send you off you're you're going to slow down a bunch in fact we really want you to stay safe because the whole situation is terrible if we end up losing uh that one's that one, that destroyer is going down it looks like 
Uh, if we end up losing a battleship to take out one of theirs, well, their battleships are worth less than ours anyway. So it would not be a worthwhile exchange. But it does look like this Colbert has caught herself, and this is just a silly mechanic that this game has. That the, I mean, it's not. I'm sure it's not easy to ha program an AI who can navigate very well. Um, this one is worse than most, though, I would say. So all the support ships are just going to... We actually can reactivate you guys firing. Whoops. Because you are now just going to be dealing with destroyers, basically. And we'll let the Africanus and the Defensori and all these guys. Who are actually still firing south, but that will change soon. Actually, the Freeland has heavy damage. It looks like one of the turrets disabled. That's a good sign. Gosh, is it worth pursuing? I think we have a lot to deal with here first. Okay. So, the Africanus is no longer able to turn. We're just going to start petting her in. She's going to be down, downwind, which is bad for her. No, wait. Sorry. Upwind, which is bad for her. <laughs> Aquanera, just go ahead and do your thing over here. Uh, high speed increased flooding at 10, 12 speed. Okay, we'll just go down to, to slower than that then. Actually, wait. It says high speed increased flooding, but yet they're... Flooding is less, I believe. I thought it was at 100, and now it's down to 86. Well, let's just not take chances. Let's drop down to 8. Send her a little bit north out of the line of fire. And focus on this Colbert. Um, turn, 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 turn. So it's funny that this situation happens where you can't actually land hits <laughs> against the really, really, really close ships. Yeah, they actually end up doing more damage than we can just because we have so many ships firing at them. They're not allowed to, they, I mean, they're unable to to land. Sh Nobody can tell whose shells are which, and therefore our accuracy plummets. We're going to have our destroyer go in there. Right now, it's the perfect situation for us to launch torpedoes. We're ahead of them. They, it's very hard to launch a torpedo ahead, obviously, and try to do... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted and try to do the damage you would want. Okay, Aquanera is for some reason is now going 19. There is a bug where so they do sometimes change their uh, speed back. It's like they attach and then unattach in a moment. Okay, the fact that the Colbert is deciding to turn though, not a good sign. All hands rotate back over. They did, okay, I thought they were gonna send the destroyers up, but change of mind. Okay, Colbert hit. We're going to have to cycle this for a while, unfortunately, <laughs> to get the damage we want. Can I send the Marcus east? Okay, just wanted to make sure she wasn't going to make a break for it. Africanus, go do your thing. Limits flooding, that's what I want to see. Come back this way, come back this way. Uh, you guys, we could, if we want, well, let's slow them down. We don't need, our armor cruisers are good at pursuit right now, but they won't be if we keep them at that speed forever. So let's slow everyone down to 16, see what happens. Come back. And yeah, come back. Did Aquanera reattach? She did, damn it, anyhow. March is a grip, it didn't spin fast enough. We could just isolate both of them, I guess, since the Aquanera is gonna keep detaching. So we'll do that. Um, spin Friedland. I, oh wait, what? We hit the Friedland. That's a heck of a long range shot. And it's against the one that, um, a 10 inch shell against the ship which supposedly has heavy damage. Looks like they repaired the turret though. Unless it was another one. No, yeah, I, they don't, they really don't have that many ships. It would be really good if we could manage to pull another battleship over here. Uh, you guys are needed in there. These guys are pulling back. I wonder if it's worthwhile to micromanage and actually have these guys like not fire for a little while while the Afri Africanus just went head to head. So, I don't know. We're doing well enough though. Okay. So destroyers are coming. That means let's get, there it is, the light cruiser to turn on them. I don't think you can launch a torpedo through the land, but you might. <laughs> So we'll be a little cautious about that. Okay, I guess these guys are going in. We're going to rotate. We'll just do a big rotation over here while these guys go very slow. 
not seeing any flooding issue or any kind of notes about flooding, so take that as a good sign. Yeah, these guys definitely look like they're charging in. Even the Colbert class is coming back to haunt us momentarily. Maybe they're making a full push to try to break out their battleship. Okay, another 12-inch hit. Very good. We have knocked out one of their guns. This is the best time to engage in a strong way, just because we're, our gun advantage is huge. Africanus is heading down. Yep, they're turning around again. That's fine. I'm okay with the Africanus fighting that, and then fighting it. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, is it getting to be dusk? Well, that... I don't know how to take that. Could be good, could be bad. Could be good if we're able to sneak in our destroyer to get some damage done. She so far has not launched her torpedoes. I believe she has all three, yes. And probably what'll happen is she won't launch her torpedoes because for some reason the AI, um, even friendly AI, I should say only the friendly AI is really reluctant to launch torpedoes. Any ships you control, we'll get this guy to rotate back in. Uh, yes, yeah, so I don't want this to happen. Bad. Go down there. No, you're like this. You're like that. You like this. They're turning away. That's a good sign. So do this. Keep pursuing, though. Africanus just cut them off again. Uh, I guess come back down and around. This is kind of a silly thing. Okay, we hit the catapult, one of these catapults, a few times. Doesn't take much for them to get knocked out. So the cycle the cycle continues, basically. Let's move these guys back. Let's get them to go eight. It's pretty slow, but I feel like we are controlling the flooding or not. No, yeah, down. You go up. How's the flooding looking? You're not the one I'm looking for. Oh, it's down to zero. Okay, then... Disregard, I think 12 should be slow enough that they can avoid damage. We'll have them circle over here. All right, Africanus, go do your work. And where are you guys firing? Yeah, you're also firing there. I want them to maybe push a little bit more aggressively south. Let's have the Africanus and Colbert kind of show down while the rest of my battle group heads south to try to... Because we've done really well. Okay, yeah, and that's, that's good to see that the Regulus... What, the Regulus? <laughs> what the heck? Uh, that was not what I was expecting to land the blow. Pretty dangerous um, maneuvering in here, close enough to be torpedoed. Uh, speaking of which... Torpedoes, bad. Uh, just going to avoid it, that's nice. Okay. This is a battle division, so I don't want that one to move in. Let's go down to cruise as well. Is that a good idea? I don't even know where their ships are. They don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's a battleship, okay. So, should we just go for it? I think we will. Nope, now I am going to turn back and I just want to get this Colbert. It's too risky. Way too risky. Yeah. She's technically going to retreat, but I'm going to try to force her to turn. Wow, that was a miracle. She turned faster than she should have been able to. Uh, I don't want the torpedoes to happen, but hopefully if we go right at them, they don't. Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know how that happened. I don't want to know. I just, like, don't ask, don't tell. Literally don't want to know how we avoided a collision there. And I really don't want to know if they launched torpedoes. Just don't tell me that they... Tell me that they did not, if you want to make me happy. We're definitely hitting this ship, though, and that's good. Which I expected to hit, of course, because she's going to have to go through the, the gauntlet of ships here. Oh, my gosh. And that is probably... The finishing blow. I mean, that the fact that we landed that many hits in one round. Who, by the way, is turning together? Oh, the Africanus? That's weird. Well, but because she's the only ship in her division, I don't care. We're close enough that torpedoes could be a problem, but... 
they're turning it away, which I don't think is going to allow them to do that. Let's have the light cruiser scout look out by heading south, possibly costing her, but it's strange that we haven't been able to launch any torpedoes at them, but I'm going to pretend that that's good news that they maybe they're outside of torpedo range, in which case we are outside of their torpedo range. Wishful thinking, if nothing else. No, actually, I want the cruiser division to peel off, and I want my battleships to move in. Yeah, that's not going to be a good angle for them to try to fire torpedoes, if that's what they are, in fact, intending to do. Oh, they might actually be trying to make a break for it. Now, the Colbert has four submerged mounts. Okay, so yeah, it is important. We might have already hit a few of those. I have a, a feeling that she's at least uh, taken a lot of damage. Uh, it may be a few of those uh, torpedo tubes have been damaged and are, you know, the submerged torpedo tubes, when they are hit, they do cause extra flooding. That's all, uh, you know, a hope, just a hope that, that any or all of those things have happened. Even 6-inch guns are going to help. I mean, that 12-inch shell is really what I like to see, but just pour it on. We want to catch, we want to, baby, come on, baby, light my fire is what I'm trying to say. Okay, finally are they returning something. I do like to see a bit of fight. Don't turn away Africanus, you are my pursuit fleet. Don't know what the armored cruisers are doing either. Are they close enough yet? No. Gotta get you close enough because you're my control group. This light cruiser is crazy. Uh, Africanus needs to be controlled as well. This is a difficult... Okay, good. Now we have you. I do want this light cruiser to move south though because I want to see if there are any other ships coming. So she's my scout. Exactly the role she should be playing. That's uh, definitely the role that light cruisers played in this time period until destroyers maybe around 1920 or so. But this looks good. We're definitely, we have this Colbert. Oh, there is trouble. First of all, Colbert decided to lash out, hit with some medium guns. Apparently somehow fired two sets of medium guns. Does she have what, six and five inch shells? What the heck? She has, I, is four considered medium? It shouldn't be, but maybe it was a misidentification of the rounds incoming. I'm just going to guess that's the case. This, These could be destroyers, which we don't want to risk our precious fleet to fight. So we will do a turn away. They are indeed destroyers. So we need our light cruiser to get in there. Okay, yeah. Uh, eesh. This is tough. Okay, we got her to turn around. That's actually huge. We can try to isolate these destroyers as well. That's a lot of... Oh, God. I didn't turn these guys. I meant to. Okay, so we hit this destroyer. The Colbert was hit twice with 12-inch guns. That's good. Another 6-inch gun hit. Belt was not penetrated. These are very, very strong ships, which I'm still happy to... 11 and a half inch belt has really done wonders, as I was expecting it would. Come in, come out. Okay, yes, like this, like that. And like this. I think that's what I want. Is this the Quartree Rally? No, it's Battle Division. Okay, yeah, it's fine that you turn, but not too much. Okay, Africanus, whoops, that's not the Africanus. Gonna come back this way. Oh, looks like it's gonna be our Armored cruisers, which see the Colbert first. Happy that my light cruisers were able to get up here. Hopefully we can just take out those destroyers without having to, I mean, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. Kind of a funny engagement going on right here where we have like all the, our ships converging at the same time. I'm gonna pull behind them so that no torpedo hits. Obviously a big, big fear. Still even for this right here, big fear. The fact that they are, let's turn in, I guess. They're sneaking a destroyer right through our lines, which I don't like to see. The fact that she's getting through our lines so easily is not good. But okay, she's dead in the water. It looks like we have sunk her and it does not look like she has been able to retaliate by launching any of her torpedoes, which is good to see. Okay, Colbert class taking a lot of hits. That should be sinking. It says sinking. We don't necessarily believe that quite yet. We'll wait a little bit longer. 
probably sinking, but hey, I mean, if you're sinking and you make it to Tunis, <laughs> maybe they uh, maybe they save you. I don't want to know. I'm just going to assume it's... Uh, this is good. Having those armored cruisers chase off that one destroyer was nice. Is it coming to a stop? Once she comes to a stop, then I'll, I'll believe the rumors, you know. The rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, a few more hits. She's turning in circles. We have a destroyer close by. Let's try to give her a moment to maybe make up her mind about a possible torpedo launch. We see one. It's a miss. We almost have our own destroyer there. It's going faster than our own torpedoes. She's a goner, though. Still pretty happy about that. On fire, everything, all the things. Destroyer, do you want to, you know, maybe... Now, I am confused. She did hit the Colbert with the torpedo, but if she manages to collide with it, it's all for nothing. <laughs> okay, she did not. Very good. I was, I was very, very, very concerned there. So let's just get out of here. We did it. We sank the other destroyer. We wanted to sink. That's all we needed to do. So we're just going to go ahead and let all the ships drop down to cruise speed. Looks like we already had that one at cruise. And they're going to go to AI control. I think, you know what? Why don't I just do the right thing and make them under AI control immediately? That way I don't have to worry about it later. We want to call off the flotilla assault. It has already been deactivated. Let's get this destroyer out of here. And I think... Oh, wow, another torpedo launch. They usually do launch a little bit more often when it doesn't help you at all that they do so. <laughs> okay, French has no... Okay, so... Not bad, not bad. We had the one battleship, we had the one armored cruiser, we have five destroyers. It's not bad. It's... I mean, it's a, certainly, it's a big victory because we didn't take any significant damage and we certainly have, I would say, certainly have broken the blockade. 3,200, this is going to increase our lead. This is good. Our monthly balance doesn't look terrible. Wow, so I'm returning and I'm looking at the situation here. Of course, we have a small window mismanagement. But that's probably, I'm going to call the video too close here anyway, so this is irrelevant. Anyway, um, yeah, this is good. A f wow, I mean, five ships are going to need one month to repair after that. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't remember... Did both those armor cruisers take a lot? Did the Africanus take a lot of damage? Did the Aquanera? Yes. The Africanus, I don't remember. But it's okay. We'll let it go because in one more month, we certainly won't be blockaded. One more month. Uh, how about this month? They're down to 28. That is, see, it's 28 to 25, and believe it or not, I think that satisfies the 10% loss. So despite us having three, destroyer, three battleships, them having two, them having an armored cruiser, a uh, light cruiser, 13 destroyers. Yeah, I mean, in this case, it makes more sense. You can see that the three battleships are giving us 24 of our points, the destroyer only adding one. Um, gosh, as soon as we get any of our battleships or anything back, though, we will once again return to having control. I'm even tempted to press next turn, but that's probably going to get us into another battle, so I'll have to do that on the next turn. So for now, it's been a while. Let's just get this episode out. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.